Well, I think what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to try and find the best of both worlds really here. You need to have the enthusiasm of the volunteers, but you also need the expertise of, you know, managerial skills. It's going to take a lot of time to manage all these charities coming together. You're going to need skill and sometimes people do, don't want to do it for free, you know. To a certain extent, we are going to have to, you know, try and find a perfect balance, you know. We, we can't really spend too many resources because we need to find, you know, the main objective here is to help you know, for the wider context. So you're going to have to find a perfect balance, which is going to take a while. In terms of the one step at a time module, it, it is up for quite a few hurdles, but once they're through it, it hopefully it would work, I think. We just have to find a perfect balance. Question. I think absolutely organisations can work when there's completely, uh, um, when they're just completely based around volunteers. I mean, Inspire, I think, is an excellent example. We've got our student executive committee that was, uh, that was elected earlier this year. And that was, yeah, entirely of people who came along, they saw the project, they saw what it entailed, and they realised that they wanted to put this commitment in. They're all giving up their time and nobody's paid for anything apart from travel expenses. All of our volunteers are committed to giving up their time free of charge.